Hey everybody, welcome back to Andy's Beer Reviews. It's day three of my B52 advent calendar. So, that's number three, sort out number three there. And it's another can, and it's a little bit lodged right at the back again. One sec. I think there's a magnet to help get these out. Excuse me a second. I maybe should have thought through this um, presentation a little bit more, I suppose, before I started doing all this. I'm not sure why that suddenly unseen, but never mind. Right, so day three, what have we got for day three? We have a Utopian, a Vienna Keller Lager, naturally brewed with 100% British ingredients. Quick craft, craft look at the back, see who it's made by, because I like to let you all know. Oh, Utopian Brewing. There you go, and that comes in at uh, 4.8%, there you go, so Utopian Brewing, uh, Utopian Vienna Keller Lager, 4.8%, right, let's uh, see what it's like then shall we, made with British malts, uh, you can see I've um, Heaved it about a little bit, trying to get the uh, drink out. Oh. That's pulled with a ridiculous head. I'm not sure I, uh, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm not sure I actually writhed it about that much, trying to get that beer out. It'll settle quickly, I'm sure about it. I'm sure it will. Won't pour any more. This one's going well, isn't it, day three? That's all the rest of the days go better than this. Uh, so, for a, a Keller Lager, um, yeah, B52 do quite a few uh, Keller Lagers. Uh, I've had a few from, from there before. It's just, uh, from memory, Keller just means, it's like Keller beer, uh, it's cellar. Um, back in the day, these uh, lagers were um, fermented in cellars, lagering, I think it was called. Uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me I'm completely wrong in the comments if I am. Um, so lagering, make, make it a lager, and that's where the word lager comes from, and it was all done in a cold cellar type environment, which is why we have this style called a, ke ke a Keller Lager. Um, a Vienna Keller Lager. Honestly not sure what a Vienna Keller Lager is, but I'm sure I'll find out in a second whether I like the taste or not. So that's Yep, another one that I've poured a little bit like an ice cream. Uh, yeah, my bad. Um, right, so that has poured uh, an amber colour. It is slightly hazy. Um, I'll have a look later. I, I don't like reading the backs of these things just in case there's any information on there that I, I, I don't want to see. Um, yeah, so it's poured uh, slightly hazy, cracking head. It's a lovely, tight, uh, fluffy white head and some very slow moving carbonation in there. Let's see the drums like, shall we? It's obviously quite a simple style because all I'm getting on there is traffic passes in the background. I'm getting some bready malts, a lot of bready malts on that. And some light floral notes. That's all I'm getting. But when I say that's all I'm getting, and when I call it simple, yes it is, but it's actually very nice. That's nice. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers, everybody. That's nice. Um, Flavour follows the nose. 
So I am getting the um, bready malts in the flavour. I am getting a um, touch of floral on the flavour as well, which is very nice. And there's a mild, a mild spicy pepperness to it as well. And whilst in the glass I'm not seeing a lot of carbonation, there is a really nice fizz in my mouth. Hmm. There's not much you can say about it really. Um, I get told off when I say a lager is a lager. It's actually quite a nice lager. It's it's all the traditional things you expect from a lager. It is clean, it is crisp, it is incredibly refreshing. Um, and it's very well carbonated as well. As you could see from this head. <sighs> Tiny hint of citrus, not a great deal. Uh, right, a little read about it now. So it tells us about Vienna, Vienna Lager, which is good. Uh, right, so uh, Vienna Lager was a revolution when it was first brewed in the mid 19th century, combining Bavarian brewing techniques with paler British style malt. <laughs> to apologise, so the reason why it's got the um, British malts in is that's part of the style. Uh, once nearly forgotten style, our Vienna Keller Lager pays homage to these early beers with a traditional detoxion mash. I've probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, so, detoxion mash is where they. Um, oh, you've got to get. For fermentation to happen, you've got to get your, your, your beer, your mash up to a up to the right temperature for fermentation to happen. Now I think with this um, detoxion, probably, like I said, I probably said that completely wrong. From memory what they do is these, you mash it all up, you get half your mash, you heat that up and then you put that so that you've heated up back in the cold mash and that should uh, give you the right temperature there or thereabouts. It's probably it is manpower hungry is that sort of brewing um but i just wonder back in the day whether or not that was the easiest way to get it up to a, a particular temperature um all right so yes yeah it took a lot of doing but you made sure you got your right temperature for fermentation to happen correct fermentation to happen uh, da, 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 da. uh british go was using british go vienna and munich malts Blending the beer depth and complexity, a slow cold filtration followed by five weeks of lagering. Oh, they mentioned lagering as well. It results in a beer which is easy drinking and is flavourful. Copper in colour. Um, I don't think I mentioned the colour, did it? Yeah, copper, um, amberish. Uh, it's rich, bready aroma which we had, uh, round out by a crisp and bittersweet finish. This is time for a Vienna comeback. Uh, all right, Utopian Brewing Limited in Devon, boat in Devon. So British made. Um, it is a nice lager. It is very easy drinking. Um, yeah, I, I think when it, when I, um, when you get a lot of pilsners nowadays. It's actually a little bit refreshing to have something that's not quite as sharp in your mouth as pills can be. Um, yeah, do you know what? I can't remember having a Vienna style um, lager before, but I do actually quite like the style. That's actually very nice. I am going to score that, traffic passing, I am going to score that 8 out of 10. Big thumbs up please if you like the video, 
consider subscribing for daily beer reviews if you've had um, this beer before or if you want to comment on the style itself uh, let me know in the comments below cheers everybody